Now, section 2 CRPC very important. Now, let us discuss those in detail. So, 2 CRPC gives definition of various offenses. Now, offenses can be classified. So, here basically the offenses can be classified in different ways. One way of classification is cognizable versus non cognizable offense. Second way of classification is non bailable versus bailable offense. And third way of classification is warrant case versus summons case. Now, what is a cognizable offense? Cognizable offense is an offense where the person can be arrested without warrant. Where is a non cognizable offense warrant required for arrest? So, which one will be more serious offense? Cognizable offense or a non cognizable offense? Just have a common sense. I am saying just focus on cognizable versus non cognizable offenses. In cognizable offense, the person can be arrested without warrant. In a non cognizable offense, the warrant is required. Just imagine now which one will be a serious offense like rape has occurred or a murder has occurred in these kind of serious offenses you will not wait for the warrant to be issued the criminal will run away. So cognizable offense are the serious offenses are the serious of are more serious offenses where the punishment can be given even where the arrest can be done even without warrant whereas non cognizable offenses are less serious. In fact, all the offenses on this side of the table, this side of the table are less serious and all the offenses on this side are more serious. Okay. So, non bailable versus bailable. In non bailable, it is not the right of, it is not the right to get bail. It is not the right of accused to get bail. Court decides on case to case basis. The court decides on case to case basis. Where available uh, offense, it is the right of the accused to get bail. Right of accused to get bail. So, obviously, the bailable offense will be less serious offense. It is the right of the accused to get bail. Non bailable offense, it is not the right of the accused. Here, the court decides. Okay, so it will be a more serious offense. Now, warrant case versus summons case. Warrant case is any case whose punishment any case whose punishment is more than two years and someone case is any case whose punishment is less than two years okay why this categorization has done you don't have to go into detail basically the way the trial procedure is being done in a warrant case is different from the way a trial procedure is done in a someone case that is the reason of classification so easy way so see remembering is easy Cognizable and non-bailable. So non-bailable you can always understand. If, if you see, how do you remember it? Non-bailable is easy to remember. You cannot get the bail. That means it is a serious offense. And non-bailable on cognizable are serious. Now, warrant, warrant is someone can be issued to anybody. Whereas warrant is, you remember like this, someone can be issued to anybody, but warrant is issued in serious thing. So warrant case is a more serious uh, case. So here the punishment is more than two years. So warrant case is a case where the punishment is more than two years. Someone case is a case where the punishment is less than two years. So remembering will become easy if you just have a basic concept that 
नॉन बेलेबल एंड कॉग्निजेबल गो हैंड इन हैंड बेलेबल एंड नॉन कॉग्निजेबल गो हैंड इन हैंड नॉन बेलेबल बिल कैन नॉट बी गिवन सो दे सीरियस ऑफेंस नॉन बेलेबल एंड कॉग्निजेबल गो हैंड इन हैंड सो नॉन बेलेबल एंड कॉग्निजेबल आर आर सीरियस ऑफेंसेस वॉरेंट इज ऑब्वियसली गिवन ओनली विल बी वॉरेंट केस रिमेंबर लाइक दिस वॉरेंट इज गिवन इन टू सीरियस थिंग्स सो हेयर दीज आर द क्राइम्स हेयर द पनिशमेंट इज मोर देन टू ईयर्स समन इज कैन बी शूड टू एनी बडीज समन केस इज ऑफेंसेज हुज पनिशमेंट इज मोर देन टू ईयर्स सो very commonly you will see it will happen that the offenses which are cognizable those are also non bailable the offenses which are non cognizable are usually bailable usually not always there some in some exception it may happen that the case is cognizable but bailable in some cases it may happen that the offense is non bailable but non cognizable those can happen but usually if an offense is cognizable usually it is also non bailable usually if it is non cognizable usually it is bailable but obviously there are exceptions also so if in your exam please remember you don't have to learn word by word that which of the offenses are cognizable which are non cognizable once in a rare while these kind of questions might have been asked many years back but now slowly and slowly the mcqs have become more conceptual based and the concept of rote learning is getting less and less you don't have to rectify exactly which are the cognizable offenses which are the non cognizable offenses just remember as a general rule as a general rule most offenses from exam perspective will be cognizable see that is the reason they are see, see only that that makes sense from exam perspective what is important to us the serious offenses the very less serious offenses may not be important to us so as a general rule suppose the question comes which of the offenses are cognizable offense general rule you remember that most offenses will be the cognizable offenses from your exam perspective the certain non cognizable offense can be one or you can remember two or two three non cognizable offenses so most are cognizable few non cognizable you can remember like simple hurt without dangerous weapon which is defined under the section 323 ipc okay first of all the hurt has to be very simple it has to be done without dangerous weapon this is defined under 323 that is a non cognizable offense another thing is criminal abortion with consent of mother that is 312 ipc so these are the two ipcs which you remember which are non cognizable otherwise most are cognizable so for example if any in first scenario if you see if any dangerous hurt as a grievous hurt has occurred or even simple hurt has occurred with a dangerous weapon that will all be non cognizable in case similarly criminal abortion we have multiple section you remember 312 to 316 18 so most are cognizable only the most lenient of those is when the criminal abortion was done with the consent of the mother that is an offense but that is a lesser degree offense here so that is a non cognizable offense here the section is 312 ipc another thing you remember is actually see what happens is uh, even in section 2 crpc there can be various sub classifications so all the definitions are given in a b uh, in uh, section 2 crpc but even section 2 has sub class multiple sub classification a b c d e f g h okay 2 a has something else 2 b has something else 2c has something else you don't have to remember all of them but just one thing that you can easily remember is section 2c is for cognizable offense so 2c is for cognizable offense 2c is for cognizable offense c for cognizable easy to remember see it is very important that in these ipc crpcs indian evidence act we have to be smart enough we have to be very much exam oriented otherwise it is impossible to remember all these sections we have to make mnemonics we have to understand what are important from your exam point of view